Good morning everyone, uh, Mike Ward from the ASFP. Uh, today I'm here with uh, Tristan Norman who is the Group Event Director of 19 Group. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, the fire safety event uh, up and coming uh, in the beginning of September this year, 2021, uh, and ASFP's attendance and also talking about ASFP's members' attendance and the uh, variety of things that's going to be going on at the show. Uh, Tristan, welcome. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Mike. Um, yeah, as you say, it's a really exciting time for us. Um, I don't think there's ever been a period in <laughs> in history where there's been so much change within an industry, like the fire safety industry, off the back of Grenfell, and no one's actually been able to meet up, catch up, bring together new innovation, knowledge exchange in one place. Um, so we're hugely excited by September and look forward to working with the ASFP on the event, really. Absolutely, and the, we've committed uh, to um, attending the event ourselves. Uh, that's something we, we'd committed to uh, when the show first started a few years ago. Uh, one of the things we'll be talking about, I think, today is, is how we uh, can encourage our members to come and exhibit at the show. Uh, and uh, one of the things I think that would, uh, would, would help us with that is uh, tell us about what's going to be happening at the show, uh, is there anything new, what can members, uh, our members look forward to, uh, to uh, experiencing if they, if they do come. Absolutely. So the fire safety event this year is is truly bigger and better than ever. You know, I think from from what some people may remember from 2019, you know, so it seems like a very long time ago now. The show's almost unrecognisable. You know, it's over double the size. Uh, we have double the amount of content available. We now have three dedicated theatres. Uh, so one for fire installers. Uh, we have the fire safety um, conference, and we also have the tall buildings theatre, which is obviously hosted with yourselves, the ASFP. So. Uh, uh, from a content point of view, there's more content than ever for our visitors. Also, when it comes to exhibiting companies, we're now over 120 participating companies. So this truly is the UK's largest fire safety event now. Um, and we're thrilled to be working with, with you and we encourage more SFP members to, to get on board. I think we're up to almost 15 members now. Um, so there's a good smattering of, of exhibitors for us, but obviously, you know, hopefully our relationship will be growing that number and, and we, I know we've got big aims for the future. Yeah, I think that, I think that's important to to, to cover that. Um, certainly, the ASFP we've we've committed to supporting the fire safety event at the NEC, uh, primarily because uh, we believe in 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 a spread of of, uh, uh, of, of exhibition exposure. Um, I think that's important. I think you know London is important, but I think it's it's important to be outside of London as well. And I think one of the examples of that is is this year our awards is going to be hosted in Manchester. And that's the first time that we've we've actually done the awards outside of London. Um, so we, we've certainly committed uh, to uh, the event at the NEC. Uh, what we plan to do and what we're hoping to do is achieve a very similar footprint that we did uh, with other trade shows where effectively you have a, an ASFP pavilion uh, and the pavilion is then surrounded by its members. Now we do appreciate that some of our members are of a size where they would have large bespoke stands, but a lot of our members are SMEs and their small businesses and they would look at you know their normal acquisition of a, at a trade show would be a, a typical shell scheme and we're looking to support that uh, with our pavilion style uh, with a learning zone uh, yeah, with the uh, uh, hospitality and reception for our members and and our members customers uh, so we want to we want to make it a real destination for our members to come but also for our members to to do business uh, it's a three-day event uh, it's, it's easily accessible from anywhere pretty pretty much in the country uh, I think one of the other things to say is actually if you look at the if you look at the uh, the, demo, the demographic or geographical split of ASFP members they are very northern and midland centric pro rata we actually have more members in the Midlands and the north than we do further down south uh, and I think that's important from the point of view that the, the NEC is accessible it's easy to park you can get the train you can even fly if, if, if you want to um, but it's important for us to make our pavilion um, a, a real destination, somewhere where people can not only you know, come and meet uh, their, their customers or their, their providers, but actually have business meetings. We, we want to create a space where people can actually go and have you know, meetings about you know, future commercial uh, relationships. 
and I, I think that's very important that we support that. Uh, and of course, coming off the back of Grenfell, of course, and the, the, the latest revisions to the fire safety bill and all of the fallout that's coming from that and all of the work and actions that the industry is going to have to, is going to be challenged to deliver because it is a challenge and it does need delivering. Um, we think that, uh, you know, uh, traditional, I use the word loosely, but trade shows is part of that mechanism of driving that change. So I think it's really important that we do, ASFP emphasizes our support for the show.